Welcome to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday. Today we're going to pull a vacuum on this system. Ideally when we pull a vacuum what we're looking to do is we're looking to clean out the refrigerant lines and make sure that we can protect the integrity of the refrigerant as it's going through. Essentially what we're going to do is we're going to boil off anything inside of our our lines there um, by going way way below atmospheric pressure. We would like to get our system down to 500 microns. Microns is the unit of measurement that we use when pulling vacuums uh, on our system. If you have a set of digital gauges, it actually has a vacuum or a micron gauge built into it. You'll see it says digital manifold plus micron gauge. Um, or if you don't, you can purchase uh, several different types of micron gauges out on the market. So you definitely need a micron gauge. The other thing that you'll need is a uh, Schrader core removal uh, tool. Um, that's going to allow us to attach our micron gauge and be able to remove the, the Schraders uh, to assist us in the vacuum process. You'll need a set of adjustable wrenches um, so that you can uh, take off the, service, the caps on the service valves to get those. You'll also need a service wrench so that you can close off the valves to be able to isolate the refrigerant into the system. And of course you'll need your vacuum pump. Uh, vacuum pumps come in uh, a, a lot of different um, sizes. You know, this uh, 4 C 3 CFM, 6 CFM, 8 CFM, and the bigger they are in the CFM, um, the, the stronger that particular vacuum pump is. Um, you don't have to necessarily have, have a bigger pump. Doesn't necessarily mean better in all cases. What you want to make sure that you do is just hook it up properly so that you can pull a vacuum. So what we're going to do is, our system's running, we're going to pump it down, we're going to close off our liquid side, close that valve all the way, or the, all the way down, and then we're going to go ahead and close off our suction side um, so that we can pull all the refrigerant back and have it housed inside of our condenser. Once we, once we do that, we'll set up our vacuum pump and our micron gauge, and then we'll be ready to hit the start button and pull a vacuum on our system. Okay, so we've kind of hooked everything up. We've got our Schrader, uh, our, our valve core removal tool um, with us that allows us to uh, extract the, the Schrader um, and still kind of have a shutoff valve connected to our micron gauge. Um, we've pumped the, ref the refrigerant down, so everything is now being housed inside of the um, condenser unit, and we've hooked up our vacuum pump. One of the things about the vacuum pump is uh, it is recommended that you change the oil every single usage. Uh, not having clean oil in your vacuum pump could um, lengthen the process of actually pulling the vacuum. Uh, we've got everything plugged up, um, our gauges are, are set, we're going to open those up so that we can pull. We've got to make sure that we open up our, uh, our cutoff valve here on our shredder tool, we're at our micron gauge ready to read. Once all of that hooked up, we check and make sure all our valves are open and we're ready to go. All right, so we've got, every, we've got everything hooked up, and as you can see, we've got it down to about 900 microns. We hooked everything up, went ahead and hit the start button on our vacuum pump, and we're rolling. Um, so ideally, what we would like to see is we want that number to get down to 500 uh, microns, and then we know that we've pulled a good vacuum on a system. Remember that whenever you're using a, a vacuum pump, make sure that you uh, change the oil. The, if you have a gas ballast on that, make sure that's in good working condition, make sure all of your lines are open, your Schraders are removed, um, and you're ready to go ahead and pull your vacuum. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Toolbox Tuesday. We look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good day. Hey, we absolutely love our HVAC community. We want you to continue to tune in. We want you to continue to, to leave us your, your comments. Um, make sure you click below to subscribe. We definitely want to hear from you, and we'll see you next time.